Hey Artsy Buddies, what's up, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be creating clay, and then we're going to sculpt out some little charms out of the clay, and then we are also going to paint on the charms that we create. So hopefully this is going to be fun. Let's get started! And I'm like jump right into this by taking a bowl as you can clearly see we're gonna save some flour in here yeah that that was not supposed to happen i want to make the clay really nice and soft but this thing is going to take a little longer so the clay can have a couple lumps i don't mind that anyways oh now we're gonna go ahead and add more of that flour or floor i don't know whatever you call it some salt and we're also gonna add in a weird white substance which i don't know what this white substance is known as but it's something like a cementish substance it's not cement but it's something similar to cement and i'm hoping that if i add this into my clay recipe it should make the clay more like clay clay modeling clay like give it more like a professional clay look and bring a little bit of whiteness into it i don't even know what i'm expecting from this white weird substance i'm adding but i'm adding it so here's some asmr of me sifting this thing Okay, I think that's enough. That's not even satisfying. Moving on to the next ingredient that we're gonna add into this clay recipe is gonna be a bunch, a couple pumps of lotion. This is just gonna help the clay be really nice, soft, and gentle to your hands, and it's just gonna help it be stretchy and soft, okay? Yeah. And now we mix. Just, uh, just broke the spoon. Ah, uh, I just broke the spoon. Yeah, this is gross, gross, so super gross. We're just gonna start using my hands in this because. Yeah, wow, this is actually really soft. I like that. And yeah, we're just going to keep mixing it and kneading it until it becomes into clay. And we're also going to add water gradually into this. Keep in mind, gradually. I don't even know if that's the right word to use. for you guys that's a big giant weird looking heart but yeah let's get into sculpting oh my god wow that fell in there what did he say oh my god wow that fell in there that was supposed to be a cool transition but never mind i'm not doing that that's quite loud here are my super cool tools that i'm going to be using i've got some brushes that i'm going to use as dotting tools for the bottom part and i'm also going to use a ruler to cut stuff and i also have a cutter and i also have some toothpicks in case i want to do tiny little details and i'm going to be using a color pencil tin as a rolling pin because we're not using any right tool here so why use a proper rolling pin you know <laughs> simple but effective <laughs> we're finally going to jump into the sculpting process of this video i'm going to start off by sculpting something really easy something really simple something really first beginner level thing i don't i don't i don't know i'm just going to be sculpting an egg omelet i don't know why but i thought i'd do it so i'm doing it yay um now i'm also not going to be going ahead and digging deep into what i'm doing i'm literally not going to talk about it because i don't know what i'm doing i just kind of went with the flow flow and check my flow yeah, Chloe, check my flow. And she wants to know, which rhymes also. Uh, oh. oh! Did what I thought was right, and I created the egg omelet clay charm thing. Next charm we're going to make is going to be a rainbow. Once again, I'm just doing what I think is right here. Honestly, I don't even, I'm not following any kind of steps. Just doing what I think is the right thing. And this was just like a fun experiment thing to do. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy Oh, and also, while you're listening and I'm talking, I would just like to let you know that the shoutout of the week are going to be coming back very soon. So comment below, hashtag buddy, and I might just 
shout you out when I bring them back, you know? So, yeah, they're coming back, everybody. Woo! Okay. Okay. Lemon and orange, lemon and lime, lemon and lime, with watermelon and orange, with just lemon and lime. And we are done with the rainbow, which I think actually came out really, really cool. I think it's going to look better after I finish painting on these, which, yes, we will be painting on these. So stay tuned for that. Now we're just going to move on right into the next one, which is going to be the letter M, because that's the first letter of my name. So, yeah, and while I do that, let's talk. I know we have been talking since the video has started, but how have you been? How's your day been going? How's your life been going? What have you been doing lately? And how's your art going? And how's your eating thing going what i don't know anyways uh we're, we're done we're done with the letter m now we're gonna move on to the next one and this next one was actually really really easy to make it was just rolling it out and then just putting it like a whipped cream you know it was very easy and simple <laughs> and now we're trying something slightly different i try to mold the clay in these molds to see the clay would get molded I don't, I don't know, okay? Uh, but yeah, it wasn't working very perfectly, but I still wanted to sort of give it a shot, and I wanted to do work, so I just kind of tried and kept trying, and it wasn't the best thing out there, but I did try to fix the donut up quite a lot, but then something really tragic happens, and I don't want to spoil it for you. Now, before that happens, I think we all deserve some fun, and by fun, I mean it's time for DJ FJ to be back at it again, so everybody in your head, smile, laugh, and just, just enjoy. like to request everybody to have a moment of silence for Mr. Jefferson the donut that passed away before he could live his life and enjoy. Okay, enough of the silence. We are bringing the mold back again. Uh, this time I have gotten a jelly-like mold. I don't know what the shape is, but it looked like a jelly to me. I wanted to try it out. Again, it didn't work out. That thing died too. Then I just stuck to sculpting with my hands, not the molds, because... You guys saw how that went. <laughs> Anyways, then I just sort of continued to create a simple circle uh, charm. But you'll see what I want to do with that when I paint on it. Anyways, then I created a one more charm and we are done with all the charms. Here's how they all look together. And here are all of them once again from the top view because... You deserve top views. Two, two views. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, so I created a rainbow. I created a circle, which you'll see what I'm going to do with that when I paint on it. I created an avocado, which took the longest to make, but it also came out the worst. It just does not look like an avocado. It looks super weird. I don't like it. It just, I don't like it, okay? Uh, I don't really like avocados anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Next, I created a moon, and I also created the whipped cream top part thing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, I was going to do the bottom. But then I realized it's going to take too long and I'm not skilled enough to do that. So I did not do that. Good choice. Then I also created an agomlet, which you saw first thing in the video. And then we also created the letter M. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to paint on these in today's video. So. And that was all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then I am very glad you did. Uh, and if you would like to see more from me, then be sure to come back next week. <laughs> Until then, make sure to say A-R-T-S-Y-R-T and goodbye!